Welcome back to Lost Louisiana. What's in a name? I'm your host, Charlie Winham. Our travels take us next to LeCount, Louisiana. Although it looks like LeCount on the map, this Rapides Parish town is named after one of the biggest stars of racehorsing during his time. Before the likes of Secretariat and Seabiscuit, there was LeCount, the racehorse that put his name on the map a century and a half ago. LeCount, Louisiana is a one-horse town, and the folks could not be prouder. This town is named after a world-class racehorse back in the mid-1800s named LeCount. There are no photographs of this chestnut colt, but there is a replica of this legendary animal inside the Johnson branch of the Rapides Parish Library. Historian Evelyn Carnell and Mayor Rosa Jones takes us on this historical ride. Well, I think everybody knows about the horse in central Louisiana and maybe other places too. And uh, it, it was really a, a thing that young people did in LeCount and the surrounding area. They raced horses. Mayor Rosa Jones is a retired school teacher and the horse came up from time to time with her students. The kids ask in history class one day, Miss Jones, did you know how LeCount got its name? I said, yes, it got its name from a racehorse. Well, why? I said, I don't know. There are many, there are many towns named after different things. There are towns named after frogs or crawfishes and all of that. And they would laugh at me. I said, but so happened. We were blessed to have a racehorse that came through this little town and it made history. LeCount grew up in central Louisiana, owned by Thomas Jefferson Wells and sired by Boston, generally hailed as America's first great racehorse. LeCount was part of racing history on April 5, 1853 at the Metairie Course in New Orleans. The Colt won its first heat race of one mile in one minute, 45 and a half seconds. Back in those days, horses could run as many as four heats in one day. The Daily Picayune declared it the quickest heat ever made by a two-year-old, as well as the fastest mile ran in the United States. This horse ran in the biggest races of its day. Some 20 years before the first Kentucky Derby, LeCompte's audiences included some of the most prominent social and political figures, including President Millard Fillmore. The Colts racing prowess was so admired back home that the area known then as Smith's Landing was renamed LeCompte, Louisiana. There is very little evidence of this trailblazing cult by the name of LeCompte, but here's a very small piece of history. Locals around here tell me this is actually part of the racetrack of the Wells family where LeCompte ran and also other Louisiana thoroughbreds. Sometimes approximately 150 years ago, horses ran here. The track is very now, the drains were on each side, and you could see the curve on each end with the straightaway being here. And this is where LeCount and other racehorses ran, and people from the bar came out here and enjoyed their races. But if you hadn't noticed yet, the horse's name never included the letter P. But the letter, well, was accidentally added to the city back in 1882. Well, so the story goes, they authorized a, a painter to paint the name on the depot, and he put a P in it. And when the uh, town council met, since it was already up there, they decided to just let it be that way. Just let it go. Let it go. <laughs> the letter P can now stand for LeCount's other famous commodity, pie. All kinds of pie. Coconut cream, cherry, pecan, chocolate cream pie, Lee's Lunchroom serves as the centerpiece of the town's claim as the pie capital of Louisiana. The restaurant has been in Toby Trailer's family for 77 years, started by his grandfather, Lee Johnson. Your grandfather was quite a character. Yes, he was. <laughs> he absolutely was. Uh, people would come into the restaurant uh, all the time, and the first thing that they heard when they walked through the door was, was his voice. And mm -hmm. normally, uh, when they came through the, the door, he would uh, holler out, well, you're in the right church and I'm the preacher. The biggest surprise, I mean, there's, 
there's a very short list of people from Louisiana that have been on the Tonight Show. One of those people happened to be your grandfather. How did that happen? Well, they had a scout that came to New Orleans, and the scout was asking people, well, who, who could we talk to that would be a Louisiana icon, uh, somebody that's a, a big character that would fit for the Tonight Show? And the rest is LeCount Television History, made on Thanksgiving week, 1989. You can see it on the computer. Uh, you can go to our website, uh, www.leeslentroom.com, and look in our family photos section, and it's on there. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay, now we're about to leave this job. We, uh, we, uh, we read about this gentleman in a newspaper article that describes him as kind of a local legend. He's been in the restaurant business since 1928. That's the year he opened his first lunchroom. We thought you might like to meet him. He's from LeCount, Louisiana. Would you welcome Lee Johnson? Lee! Hi, Lee. How are you? Well, hello, Johnny. Good to see you. Sit down. Have a seat. I declare. I declare. Which one of them wives did you eat dinner with today? Which one of them? As the store goes, as I know it, he stayed on longer than any unknown guest for The Tonight Show. He stayed on through uh, three commercial breaks. Come on. He did. He sure did. And he was very proud of being on The Tonight Show. Lee held court with the king of late night for 11 minutes. Uh -huh. I wanted to feed you a little bit. Yeah. So I brought you that puck on pie. Is that what this is? Yeah. Puck on. Would you call this puck on pie? <laughs> Well, you know, it's... Is that uh, like a pecan pie? Well, that's what the northern people call it. It's oh, just... I'm sorry. Let's, let's talk about your restaurant. It's Lee's, Lee's Lunchroom. That's right. 1928, first open. Yeah, that's right. What do you have on the menu outside of pecan pie? Menu? We don't have no menu. No menu? No, that takes them too long to make up their mind what they want. But if they don't eat what I put on that plate, I don't want them in that no way. Okay? Well, you're a fine gentleman, and it's nice to meet you. Well, and if I, if I get down Louisiana Way, can I drop in and uh, have a bite to eat at your place? You can come and stay all night if you want to. Just okay. The people that work for it. Tell me about that. The people that work for us, we, we have people that literally raised me in this restaurant. I'm 33 years old. Uh, there's a lady that's been here since 1950 when we came to this location uh, in LeCount. We also have a couple of waitresses that have been here for 20 years. Uh, we have a cashier that's been here since before I was born. Uh, so we have some long-time employees at the restaurant, and that's something that we're very proud of, and our customers notice that. You like pies? Oh, do I like pies? Do you like my pies? My favorite one, oh my God, coconut cream. <laughs> and if you want to eat a good, delicious pie, visit Lee's Restaurant on Highway 71 and get you a pie. <laughs> So the pie's got ahead of the horse as yeah. far as what's being famous around this That's area. That's all right. The horse is on top and Lee's comes second. That's <laughs> photo, right. A photo finish. Say what? A photo finish. <laughs> One and two, neck and neck. Photo That's finish. Right. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're blessed though. We're really blessed. By the way, the LeCount Branch Library, which is behind me, bears the name of Lee Johnson's wife. It is known as the Georgia Johnson Branch Library. If you want to see Lee Johnson's appearance on The Tonight Show in its entirety, you can go to the website at www.leeslunchroom.com and click on the photo gallery.